the Wiggles Top Triple J's annual Hottest 100 list for 2021 with their cover of Tame Impala's psychedelic 2012 hit, Elephant. And appearing on the Sunday Project this weekend, Murray Cook and Lachlan Gillespie of the Children's Entertainment Group couldn't help but rib Kid Leroy and Justin Bieber as they placed second for their 2020 hit, Stay. After co-host Lisa Wilkinson read out a list of previous winners including Billie Eilish, Murray, 61, and Lahi, 36, alerted her attention to having beaten the pop stars. Murray began by telling Lisa that the Triple J win is right up there with many of their other accomplishments, which include performing at Madison Square Garden and being inducted into the ARIA Hall of Fame. Well it's right up there, it's just so amazing especially because it's voted by the public. The Triple J listening audience who were our audience 20 years ago, so to get to this point it's right up there. It's a huge accolade, he said. After Lisa read out a list of previous Triple J winners including Billie Eilish, Lahi brought to her attention how they beat Kid Leroy and Justin Bieber on the charts. Kid Leroy and Justin Bieber were number two, he said, before Murray repeated number two in a playful fashion. Rounding out the rest of the top five was Spacey Jane's Lots of Nothing, Olivia Rodrigo's Good For You, and Billy Ailes' Happier Than Ever. Rodrigo was one of the most popular artists of the year overall, with a total of five entries in the top 100. She was equaled by Doja Cat, who also had five entries, while Kanye West wasn't far behind with four. Lil Nas X scored three entries, which was matched by Rufus Dussault. One artist who missed out on the hottest 100th entirely was reality star Abby Chetfield. The Bachelor villain had been campaigning online to get her pro-vaccine song I Know You Do Ketamine to the top of the list, but it failed to crack the top 100 entirely. Abby even appeared on the project, where she begged fans to vote for the dance track. I'm pretty shocked that Terry see even a chance, she admitted. The Wiggles had long been tipped to take out the top spot in the Anwell music list, which is voted for by the Australian public. It's an absolute spin-out, Blue Wiggle Anthony Field told the Sydney Morning Herald earlier this week. It's not something we ever thought would happen. But we really did do the song out of love. The Wiggles covered Elephant as part Triple J's Like A Version series in March 2021. The band was given a list of potential covers to perform including Rihanna's Umbrella, but ultimately decided to go with Elephant. We wanted to choose something Australian, recently retired Yellow Wiggle Emma Watkins told the ABC. For most of the time that we've had the honour of going to the Arias, we get to see Tame Impala a lot on stage. Lahi said it has been amazing to see the song become so popular. It's bizarre, it's just been this amazingly popular thing, he said. In the end, it's been a special experience for all of us.